Today I'm off to meet Kevin Busk. He is the founder of startup Refer Me Please. I'm meeting him in the green room bar next to the Liffey Trust uh, co-working space. It's where he started his business and yeah, it'll be interesting. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Good to meet you, Kevin. Good to meet you. So you're over in uh, Dublin for the weekend. Yeah. Um, and this is where you started Refer Me Please, your, yeah. your startup. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself, your background, um, how you came to start a startup in Dublin? Well, I'm French, I'm 29 years old, and I'm going to be turning 30 in September, something that I'm really not looking forward to. <laughs> um, I came to Dublin like three years ago uh, mm -hmm. to start a job at Google as a, an account manager for the French market, mm -hmm. so selling ads for uh, Google and YouTube. Okay. Then about a year ago, I decided to start my own business, Refer Me Please, mm -hmm. Refer Me Please which is a social network empowering job referrals. That means that we help job seekers or intern connect with employees yep. to start job referrals. Okay, so you, so you went from selling ads at Google to launching a startup in the, in the recruitment space. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, I never heard, before I started my job at Google, I never heard about job referrals. Like for me, it did not exist, or for me, it was not something really official. It's like, oh, I'm leaving the job, or we're looking for someone. We're just gonna see in our own network, like if there was someone that could fit, yeah. fit the role. Um, and so back in 2015, uh, I was kind of like looking for a new challenge. So obviously after Google, I was like, maybe I could work at Facebook or Dropbox whatsoever. And every time I got an interview in those companies, it was through a referral, either okay. someone that I knew or that I didn't know, but it was someone that gave my CV to the HR. Mm -hmm. And actually one night I was walking back home and I was like, that's a good idea of like starting something to help people who do not know employees in those companies like big tech companies or consulting companies uh, to help them like get hired in those yeah. companies so I was like just gonna do it and two weeks after I was gone and I started the, the startup. Brilliant. Okay great. I'm gonna check that that all recorded okay? Of course. And then uh, we can just take And hopefully the rain is not gonna... Yeah. <laughs> so you're matching job seekers with employees who can then refer them into the company that, that they want to get to? Correct. Let's say you're looking for a job, you're just going to go on the website, sign in, fill in your profile saying that what are your skills, um, your previous experiences, um, schools, whatever you think is relevant. Um, and then you're just going to specify, I'm looking for a job or an internship, if you're looking for an internship. On the other side, the employee is going to fill in their profile as well. Um, say for which company they're working for currently um, and say I'm looking for someone to refer. Um, through a search function they're going to be able to find each other. Uh, if there is a connection between them they can start to talk, see if like for example the job seeker would be a great fit for the company and if the employee thinks so then it's going to be able to start to refer. And why would employees go to the platform? I understand people looking for a job, Sounds fantastic. You can get referred to, to different companies, but why would an, an employee look at your look at referring this? Well, first, obviously, because they can get an incentive. If the person gets hired, that can be like money or days off or a gift, whatever the company thinks is like the best. Even for the employee, the incentive is quite good with the money or the the, the gift, and uh, because you know you're going to get along well with yeah. the person. So it's the, it's the referral bonus element of it that that many companies give employees these bonuses if they propose someone, refer someone, and then, and then they get hired, they get this bonus. Yeah. That, that, you think, draws people in. It is. I look at the website, it's a pretty slick looking website. So that's you, um, as you said, you register on it, you fill out your profile, um, and then you can start searching either by candidates to refer or by employees to refer you. Yes. How long has your site been up? Do you have any so, user base yet? Or? So I launched the beta in April 2015, um, just to see if like people would like it and would use it. Um, so I launched like a simple one-page website, uh, got it up and running for like let's say less than a week, so mm -hmm. that more than 200 people signed up on okay. this thing, like were interested in this uh, platform. So I was like, okay, that's good. And the the proper website has been um, live since July 2015. So since then, we got people who got a job at. LinkedIn, Facebook, Oracle, Google, like all the big like tech companies, mm -hmm. mainly in Dublin. So just over a year. Yeah. Running. And you're running 
mainly in Dublin, elsewhere as well? Well, we're all over the world, our top three markets are uh, UK, so UK and Ireland, mm -hmm. France and USA, this is where like, all, the most of our users are coming from. I know some companies have a policy where if you're referring someone, they expect it to be somebody that you know. Do you see that as a block to refer me, please? Well, I don't because I think like employees need to need to be responsible, meaning that they need first to be sure that the, the job seeker is going to be a great fit to the company. It's not like you're saying, okay, this person, I want it to be him or her to be hired and that's it. It's like you're just saying, oh, I think it could be a great fit then, so maybe like you should start a, an interview process. Okay. But uh, yeah. What's your ratio like between employees on the platform and job seekers? We have more job seekers than uh, employees. I'd say it's about like 60% uh, job seekers and 40% employees. That's the ratio that we want to make it. Let's talk a little bit now about how you actually got up and running, how you went from your initial idea of these referrals seem great, we should build a social platform powered by referrals all the way to where you are now? Well, the, the, the beginning was pretty chaotic. Um, first time that I was starting my own company, so you know, you learn by doing. You don't know how to do it and how to make it work, but I guess it's just like, you do something, you see if it works, if not, like, you just do something else. Yeah. Um, the, the, the main problem that I had when I started my own company was that I had to ask an agency to build a website. Uh, the problem is, like, this agency was not as good as, like, I thought. Uh, so that means that we had, like, loads of bugs on the website. So it was working, but it was not, like, perfect. Uh, sometimes it was crashing. For example, in September, last September, we got featured on Product Hunt, which is like a huge website. And because we had so many traffic, the website crashed like five times over the like 12, 24 hours. So that was like really a tough time. How, how did you get featured on it? Uh, we just like checked at who's the hunter for Product Hunt, and we saw some of the names, and we knew that they hunted some uh, startups in the yeah, HR vertical yeah. before. So yeah, like, hey, do you want to have a look at our like platform? So you just selected. Yeah, it. yeah definitely. And we just got hunted and we didn't even know about it. It's just like one day I received a tweet from yeah, Product and saying like, oh, you're live. And we're like, what? Like, we didn't even know and we got like huge spike in traffic. So yeah, it was, it was like a interesting time. But, uh, but really good. Like, yeah, really fantastic. good. Oh yeah, definitely. We got like good feedbacks as well. So that was good. So we're like a team of four. Right now, so CTO Maxim, CFO Julien, and Hold myself away. Kevin, the CEO. Uh, Remy, he is based in the bin, but he's uh, working part time for now. Did you actually secure investment in the end? Or Not yet. We're like right now opening our seed round, so we're yeah. actively now looking for uh, investors. Right. How do you get to that stage where you're, I suppose you're all working on it, but you haven't got any, any revenue? coming in, you have any investments, how, are you, how do you manage that? It's really tough, it's like, for us we believe that first we need to grow in terms of like users and then you're going to be like looking for revenue or way to make money. Um, if you look at like all the big startup or unicorns such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever, whatever they started as free, they build their uh, user database and then started to think, okay, how are we going to make revenue? Uh, so this is the path we want to follow. Um, so now we're really focusing on keeping a good growth rate in the top users, yeah. and then like, we'll start thinking about the revenue. So um, it, it's, it's pretty challenging, because when you don't have any salary, for example, yeah, you have to pay rent. Yeah, you have to pay rent. It's, it's pretty tough, but at the end, if you're passionate about what you do, and if you really believe in your service, like, I mean, like, yeah, you just do it. I mean, would you have saved beforehand so you have the money to cover your rent for a certain number of months? How? I'm just thinking of the practical. I did. Day. Yeah, I did save. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, first, it's oh. loads of uh, ramen noodles. Like, yeah. it's okay. a lot. Um, and then I saved. Side budget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I saved the money uh, when I was at Google, got the bonus, sold all my Google stock options as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that helped me, like, uh, surviving. Let's say. Okay. I'd say like all the ups and downs of being an entrepreneur, yeah. um, it's really really tough because you're like, oh, it's going to be pretty easy, I'm going to be my, my own boss. But that's the problem, you're your own boss and um, sometimes you have like bad news and you have to deal with them. Yeah. You're all by yourself and it's challenging, you don't know what to do. But yeah, I'd say it's like a roller coaster. Like some, some days it's going to be all bright and sunny and <laughs> everything's going to be perfect and the following day you're going to feel done and you just want to stay in bed. And, and you really have to motivate and yeah. manage yourself to 
I guess push yourself that extra extra bit to, yeah. to get over it. Yeah. <laughs> just so and do everything you need to do. Yeah. Do you find that most people will only refer people if they think it's a, it's a suitable match? Or do you find people who just refer loads of people to try and get a referral? No, they really like chat to them, talk to them, see if they would be a good fit, and then they would submit a referral. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. It sounds like a fantastic idea. Thanks for watching. That was the pilot episode of Startup Stories with Refer Me Please. If you found that interesting, please hit the subscribe button. Next time we'll be speaking with Think Bio Solution, another fascinating startup from the Dublin tech scene.